Okay, here's my plate. And here's the peppers. And uh, this is what I'm about to have for dinner. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I hate to talk with my mouth full. You're what? Starving. T.D. Bob here. Tonight, we are at a Stan and me and Mark was in place. I'm going to have the Stan style noodle. And the Burmese tea leaf salad. Stan is a province in Myanmar, but it has a this different cuisine than the rest of Myanmar. So there are quite a few Shan cooks down here in Chiang Mai. I'll let you see what the food looks like when they get it to you. Well, my food just got here. This is the salad. It's got some mints in it. Good. Mm. You see that? Somebody made a mistake. This is my Shan noodle. So, this is the owner of this establishment, and she's come to tell me that she's going to make a new menu. <laughs> and, and he's like, he's, he's got, he's going to have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jane. This is uh, my dinner for the evening. This is a 95 baht offering, and it's got a lot of garlic in it. Onions, carrots, mangoes, raisins, and several things I don't know what are. It's always tasty, and they let me <laughs> season to my own taste, which is a little spicier than most of the rest of it.
tá pintado. Ok, these are mangan quesadilla. A little bit Thailand, a little bit uh, Mexican. Mango, rice, beans, papayas, potatoes, pickled onions, black beans. This is the good spicy sauce. Jalapenos. And two sauces, pico de gallo and sour cream. So this is Perns, that's P-E-R-N-S, it's kind of a crossover between Mediterranean and other Western foods. Tonight we're having the char-grilled filet of lamb. It has a uh, filet of lamb with Dijon mustard yogurt, roasted vegetables, and mixed salad. dish that isn't well known in the West. Well, here we have our fried rice, cucumbers. The rice has got peas and sausage, corn, and carrots in it. And these are kind of dumplings. They're normally dipped, so I put sesame oil. Black vinegar. A shot of the spicy. And a little bit of soy sauce. That's my dipping formula. We have black vinegar, sesame oil, chili oil, soy sauce. I'm checking to see if I'm about to burn my face off.
They're real tasty. There's usually some mixed vegetables and meat. Anything from pork to crab. Uh, some of the crab dumplings I've had in Shanghai I was to die for. Get in here. Now the Sichuan people have spicy dumplings. I have seen black dumplings made with black sesame seed flour. For tomb sweeping at the Queen Ming Festival, they have a green dumpling that's special for that particular time of year. In various areas of China, have different dumplings, but a dumpling is a common denominator in their food store. 